welcome to another episode of Sit and Spin with me, Rose Joe. Not with me tonight is Norman the Drowsy Bionic Dog. He is otherwise engaged. He's off at work with Lisa, my wife, uh, where she works getting himself checked out. He's been having some stomach issues lately, which is not cool. But other than that, as you saw the video the other day, he's doing much, much better. So he's not here with us tonight. Uh, and I know I promised you, hopefully, something different this week, uh, but as sometimes hopefully does not go as well as planned, and the idea I originally had to do for this week uh, just didn't turn out the way I wanted to do. The lighting was terrible, uh, and it just wasn't going to work out, so I'm tabling that for next month when it's going to get a uh, release that you can actually buy instead of having to go see it in theaters. But Maybe you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll have to wait to find out what it was. Uh, but something different for you anyway. Newly shorn hair, glasses. You don't usually see me wearing those, but allergies have been so bad. My eyes have just been burning. So these are kind of helping me out with that, but uh, somewhat. Because they're for distance. Um, and so it's blurry right here in front of me. Anyway, you don't care about that. You came to find out about some groovy new music. And we got something super groovy for you today. The new release from the Bra Black Keys, Turn Blue, just out this week in stores. It is the eighth studio album from the Akron, Ohio duo of guitarist Dan Auerbeck and drummer Patrick Carney, and their fourth collaboration with Danger Mouse, a.k.a. Brian Burton, who you also may remember from the band Broken Bells that we covered earlier in the year. And this is the second album that he's been more of a contributing songwriter as well as adding little musical pieces here or there. The title of the album is a reference to the catchphrase used by 1960s horror host Goulardi from the Ohio area. Obviously, the guys being from Akron, Ohio, they kind of picked up on that. And the sessions for this album coincided with Auerbeck's recent divorce and inspired much of the album's lyrics. And as a result, the album is more laid back and with a bit of a slower pace, as you can obviously hear from this track here, and than their past records. Instead of being more raw blues rock, which is kind of what they're known for, it's more psychedelic feeling and soulful. But you do get a lot of the old Black Keys blues rock stuff, especially on tracks like It's Up To You Now. Um, other than that, though, aside from the opening track, Fever, if you haven't heard that, the single Fever, uh, our back city wanted to focus less on making a radio-friendly singles record, like El Camino was and Brothers was a bit more, and make more of a sprawling headphones album. And in that, it very much succeeded, especially like the first time I put this record on and spun it. Instead of calling the album Turn Blue, I thought they should have called it Turn Pink. And the main reason that, not just because the pink is the other featured color on the album cover, but because this track, Weight of Love, that opens the album, and if you've been paying attention listen to it at all, as well as the song Bullet in the Brain, borrow very heavily from Pink Floyd, very influenced by Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album, particularly passages of the song Breathe. Uh, some of the musical aspects are almost identical. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to call it plagiarism, but I would definitely say it's an homage, at a, and hopefully an intended one. Uh, if not, I can't imagine that they'd never heard that record before. But you know what? It's well done, and I don't... Thereby, it's cool in my book. It's still all really good. Uh, other than that, the whole album is really, really decent, depending on when you became a fan of the Black Keys. If you were, like, old-school fan, you might not dig it as much. It may be too mellow for you. But if you just came into the band recently with the last couple of releases, it's kind of a nice natural progression, and hopefully you'll dig it a lot. I like the album a lot. Uh, the only other nitpicky bit I have of it is I think they should have flipped the final two tracks in the uh, sequence order. Uh, in Our Prime is a great closing song and should have been the last song on the album. It's just moody. It's just got. It's everything a great closing song should be. But then they put "Got to Get Away" at the end, and it, it's upbeat and catchy, and it feels more like a tacked-on bonus track following "In Our Prime." It, it just seems wrong. It's like, Gotta Get Away should have been earlier in the album, or at least before In Our Prime, but I don't know, maybe they wanted to end the album on an upbeat note, considering it's been pretty mellow and stuff, and they just want to have a positive vibe. Can't say for sure, but otherwise, great new record from the Black Keys, Turn Blue, In Stores Now. Uh, it comes with this funky poster replica of the album cover. I'm not going to bother to open it, which... I don't know, to me, all that paper, kind of a waste in this day and age. Uh, unless you're a kid and you want to put a poster up on your wall. To me, got no use for it. I would have preferred, like, album lyrics or something useful in the record myself. But again, minor nitpicky. I'm just being nitpicky now. Anyway, that's all I got for you this week. I'll have more good stuff that I, like I said, still sitting on a backlog of stuff to come up with. But thanks for tuning in. 
Uh, thanks on behalf of the album, uh, the album, <laughs> the absent one, the drowsy bionic dog. And we will catch you next time on Sit and Spin. Uh, hopefully you check it out, my good buddy Scott over at Righteous Final, as well as Riff of the Day guys. And um, we'll see you later. Take it easy. Next time. Sit and spin.